Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get the basic features that are going to be introduced in OS X Mountain Lion today. I've been asked by people if they should buy a developer license so they can use Mountain Lion now, if you know they should wait or not, and I always suggest people wait, because what you can actually do is, with a couple different applications, simulate the features that will appear in OS X Mountain Lion uh, right now with current existing applications, and I'll show you uh, which ones today. So one of the biggest new features with Mountain Lion is the integration of iMessage right into the OS. And this is something that users who aren't on Mountain Lion can actually get today. And you might know this one already, uh, but you can actually, from Apple's website, download a version of Messages, and it's still in beta, but you can use it on Lion. This version of Messages is exactly like the version that will ship with Mountain Lion, uh, so it's very much the same as what you'll see, and it replaces iChat, as you might know. So if you want to download this and use it, it's a little bit buggy, but I'll have a link uh, below the video that you can go and download Messages Beta. Another one of the big features in Mountain Lion is Notification Center, as you can see here, and it's very much like the iOS counterpart. There's actually an application in the Mac App Store you might have heard of called Growl that can simulate kind of the environment of Notification Center. It's not quite as clean or as polished, uh, but if you go up to the Apple logo menu and you select App Store and you search in the App Store for Growl, you'll find the app and unfortunately it's not free. Uh, but if you really like the idea of Notification Center and you haven't tried out Growl, I would definitely recommend it. So Growl just runs up in your menu bar here and you can show this roll-up menu. Uh, and this roll-up when notifications come in is a lot like Notification Center and if you leave your desk for a while, or anything, this roll-up will automatically show up and it shows you all your recent notifications for any apps you might have. Also, if you go up to the Growl Preferences, you have a couple different options here uh, for the type of notification you want. So for example, this brushed one looks fairly similar to the actual notification style that you'll find in Mountain Lion, so you can simulate that very well. Another big addition to Mountain Lion is the Notes app that you would have typically found on the iPad and the iPhone. And now that's coming to the Mac OS as well. Previously, Notes were managed within the Mail app, and now it has its own app. So if you want to use the default Notes app that comes on all your devices, you can still use it within Mail in Lion. And it's a lot like it is in Mountain Lion. It's just not broken out into its own app. But if you're looking for a good note app that syncs across all your devices, kind of like Notes does in Mountain Lion, a good one I would recommend is Evernote. So Evernote is nice in that it works on all your devices, the iPad, the iPhone, and the Mac. So you can download it and it'll sync across all your devices and it works very well. And in some ways it's more full featured than the Notes app uh, with you know graphics and different things like that. Uh, it's very nice. In addition, some people are excited about, I'm personally not, uh, but a lot of people are, is AirPlay mirroring, and that's coming in Mountain Lion as well. So AirPlay mirroring essentially lets you mirror what's on your Mac screen to an Apple TV. Now, I don't have an Apple TV, so it's not something I'm too excited about, uh, but if you want to do this with Lion, you can download this application called AirParrot. So it's not free, there's a limited trial, and I personally haven't been able to test it out just because I don't have an Apple TV. Uh, but it works in very much the same way as AirPlay mirroring will in Mountain Lion. So this is something you might want to consider if you do have an Apple TV and you think you'd use this feature a lot. It actually looks like it has more preferences than the real AirPlay mirroring feature does in Mountain Lion. Uh, Apple's version is pretty stripped down and basic. Another feature Apple's been bragging about is Gatekeeper. So if you go into System Preferences and over to Security, you'll see that under General, you have these new options to allow applications downloaded from anywhere the Mac App Store and identify developers or just the Mac App Store. And you have some different changes to your privacy settings in here that you don't find in Lion and Snow Leopard and older operating systems. Now, while there's no real replacement for Gatekeeper in Lion, what you can do is install some security applications if you're worried about security. I did a post not too long ago here on Cult of Mac about how to secure your Mac from viruses and malware. So if you want to go check that out, I talk about some of the best security applications to get and they can be really helpful, especially when fighting against new malware that's been coming to Mac OS X. 
So you also may know that the Reminders application is coming to Mountain Lion, and it's just like the Reminders app that you find in iOS 5. Now, unfortunately, you can't control the native Reminders application in any way in Lion. Uh, you can control the Notes app, but the Reminders app is pretty much off limits. So if you go to App Store, there are some alternatives for the time being. An option you might want to try out is Wonderlist. Uh, it's a free application and it lets you create reminders in a similar fashion to what you would do on the Reminders app. Now, personally, I like to stick with Reminders. I find it, you know, it's just basic and it's just what I need. But you might like something like Wonderlist that syncs across all your devices and you can create tasks pretty easily. Last but not least, we have the iCloud integration. Now, unfortunately, that's something that you can't really replicate in any way with any application in Lion or below. So while I'd love to tell you that there's an alternative that you can use at this time, there really isn't. And anything that you might use to sync your documents and applications with iCloud right now in Lion is more of a workaround than anything, and it's not as smooth as you'll find in Mountain Lion. But there's a way that you can replicate at least most of the features of Mountain Lion in Mac OS X Lion right now. As always, if there's anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. This is Michael with Cult Mac. And I'll see you next time.